For the last five weeks, Galway Bay FM have been endeavouring to get a co-presenter for the new breakfast show. Since the departure of Alan Clark, that search has taken us around the world. We've spoken to over two and a half thousand breakfast show presenters all around the world, from Venezuela to the Vatican. And finally, it seems apparent that Galway Bay FM have got their presenter. We're not in a position yet on Galway Bay FM to identify the new host of the Galway Bay FM breakfast show as there are contractual obligations with their current employer. For the purposes of this interview, we're going to call the person Deirdre. Deirdre, you're welcome to go with FM. When did you first become aware that there was a vacancy in the breakfast show? Can I just make it clear that we have to make sure that nobody knows who I am, obviously, for obvious reasons with, with, with other people. I can guarantee you complete anonymity. Your voice is being disguised and your face is being blacked out even as we speak. I do appreciate that. You're very welcome. Um, I was on board a cruise ship uh, off the coast of Japan uh, when I got the call from the captain uh, saying that there was a phone call from Keith Finnegan, who I understand is the CEO of Galway Bay FM. And what exactly did Keith say to you then on, on board the, the cruise liner? He said, hello. Um, how are things? Which I thought was a little bit informal because, you know, we, we, we it sounded like we knew each other from before, but, but we didn't. He made me aware of the position of the breakfast show presenter. And I won't lie, um, it excited me. From there... Obviously, the wheels were put in motion about trying to get you to go with BFM. That couldn't have been easy because you obviously had to have a conversation with your current employers. Well, the wheels in motion was quite easy because the captain had sailed the ship before. So that was the easy part. The ship with, with wheels? With a wheel. Have you seen Titanic? The big kind of... It moves it. And so when you got back to dry land? Yes, you obviously had to have a conversation with your current boss. I had a conversation. How tough was that conversation? I'm not going to lie. It was emotional. It was something I hadn't seen myself doing for a long time or picturing to see could I actually... Or somebody who put their trust in me to say that, excuse the, the puns to the ship, but the ship had sailed. And now that I was going to be part of a, a new crew. But in the back of my mind, I knew that this was going to excite me, that this new crew would be, dare I say, my new family. Obviously, the last couple of weeks have been difficult for you because it's a whole new move, a whole new life for you in the west of Ireland. Do you know anything about Galway and, and how the people live here? I've heard the stories. Um, you know, you kind of look in and say, could I ever be part of this? But I think that I could. I think that we have a lot in common. Um, you know, maroon and white. Maroon's my favourite colour. And white is pure and clear, like my soul. Right. Well, that's... <laughs> that's fortunate. Um, obviously, you... Stop using the word obviously. You're aware that I will be working with you for the duration of your stay, however long or short, in Go with BFM. Have you done any research on, on me and my presentation style and my links with sport and obviously my sense of humour? Is that something you think you can work with? Yes. Just for the record, the presenter, Deirdre, said yes. From this moment on, People are going to be wondering who you are, what your true identity is. Mm -hmm. Deirdre, is there a point this week where we will actually know who you are and that everything will be clear for us to launch the new breakfast show on Monday week? Yes. So we just have to get the listeners to stay listening to you, Ollie, who is steering the ship and is doing a great job. But alas, the time has come to make way for another shipmate to help you steer that ship in a place that only one can dream about to make it a great, great show. Okay, guys, do we get all that? 
Well done. Well We're done. Good. Molly, that was Molly, super. Thanks a million, man. This is <laughs> fucking, yeah, that was great, yeah. I swear to God, I nearly crashed the car. I know. Listen, I have to go. So, uh, lads, thanks a million. Oh Jamo God. Dylan. Well done. See you later. Well done. Right. See you Monday week, all right? Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. You're getting the breakfast the first day. And bring money this time, will you? Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. okay.